So students, how does the postman help Lencho? He has read the letter. He knows that this man Lencho is in need of 100 pesos. So he decides to not only to contribute from his own salary, but he also goes to his colleagues asking for some contribution from their side as well. His colleagues also contribute some amount and then finally after combining all the money, he keeps the amount in the envelope. Okay, he keeps the amount in the envelope and he waits for Lancho to come to the post office. Lancho, one day when he comes to the post office and he asks if there is any letter for him, then the postman happily gives the envelope to him. The postman stands at some distance. He wants to see the expression of Lancho. Then that what will be his expression? The moment he opens the letter, he opens the envelope. Lancho is very excited to hold this envelope, to, uh, to hold this letter. He opens it. But the moment he opens it, his excitement, it vanishes. Why does it vanish? Because he had asked for 100 pesos from God. He had asked for 100 pesos from God, but there in the envelope is only 70 pesos. Okay, there is only 70 pesos. Now, he is not only disappointed, but he is also angry. Yes, Lancho is angry. He had asked for 100 pesos from God. But here, as the answer to his prayer, God has only sent 70 pesos. Now he is confused also and he is very angry. And he decides to write the letter again to God. And this time, this is very important, I am telling you. This is towards the end of the chapter. And towards the end of the chapter, again he is writing a letter to God. And in that letter, what he is writing, this is the greatest irony. This is the greatest irony, I am telling you. He writes in the letter that, God, I asked for 100 pesos from you, but you have only sent 70 pesos. Why? I think that God, you had sent me the total amount. You had sent me 100 pesos, but some, but some of the money has been taken away by the postman or the employees of this post office. Yes, the man who helped him, the postman who helped Lencho, he has been accused of robbery, of stealing. Okay, Lencho thinks that 30 pesos has been taken away from the postman, has been taken away by the postman. Okay, and he writes in the letter that God please send me 30 pesos again and don't send me to this post office, please. Because I think the postman and the people working here, they are not very honest. They have taken away my money. So this is the irony, students. Irony means something so unexpected, something just the opposite of the reality. Something so strange. The man who helped him, Lencho is trying to cast aspersions on his character. Okay, so this is the irony. This is so sad. So, something so strange, something uh, no one can believe. And Lencho is believing in this. Out of his faith in God, he is actually lost all faith in the human being who helped him. So this was the greatest irony of the chapter. Please go through the chapter yourself. Okay, thank you.